No, they are not useless. It wasn't a smart idea. Sensitive art. Should accept the challenge. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Welcome to Art Fashion Channel. I'm Daria, the artist who paints on clothes. And my channel is slowly turning into a reaction channel because the more I react to people painting their clothes for the first time, the more I get suggestions from you which videos I can react to. And it seems that nobody on YouTube knows how to paint on clothes. <laughs> Uh, and th that is my mission, you know, to spread the knowledge and to stop people from ruining their clothes. And this video is going to be very interesting because I'm going to react to a professional artist painting his denim jacket for the first time. But not only he made so many mistakes in the process, but also it was very painful for me to, to watch his video because he did some very strange things with his denim jacket. <laughs> And yeah, guys, with this video, I will show you that painting on clothes, customizing your clothes, is a form of art with its own rules, uh, which you need to learn and follow them to don't ruin your clothes. Uh, so let's see what you shouldn't do with your denim jacket. <laughs> So artist name is Alpai Efe and I feel that this time I pronounced his name right. And Alpai Efe has a YouTube channel with more than 300,000 subscribers, 379,000 subscribers. And on his YouTube channel he shares a lot of tutorials uh, on how to paint better, faster, easier, how to be a better artist. Uh, and one month ago he posted a video, I custom painted a denim jacket for the first time ever. Uh, so let's see what he's gonna do. <laughs> hey friends, I know you're not used to seeing me in front of the camera and I'm certainly not used to being in front of it. But today is a special day because I'll be painting my denim jacket. Something I've been meaning to do for ages now. And now that spring is just around the corner, I thought it'd be the perfect time to bring out the old denim jacket and finally give it a shot. I have no idea how this is... Uh, actually, I'm sure like everybody has a denim jacket in their wardrobes. Everybody. <laughs> and uh, to make it a bit more interesting and a bit less boring, like to paint your denim is the best idea ever. ...going to turn out could be a complete disaster for all I know. But hey, I guess we're gonna find out. Whenever the I moment he put all these art supplies uh, on his table, I started to have a bad feeling that this is going to be a disaster <laughs> because I don't see uh, fabric paints here. He's going to use acrylic paints and some other things. There are some bottles for acrylics as well. Uh, but let's see what he's going to do. A custom painted clothing item, I almost always find myself thinking, hmm, that looks a bit ridiculous. And I'm always left wondering if you could... Ridiculous? I wonder, like, what kind of denim jackets did he see? I would love to see them too. <laughs> because denim jackets which I see are so cool and so interesting. And in case you didn't see such denim jackets, let me show you some of them. I will put them here. Uh, so maybe this denim jacket is a ridiculous denim jacket. Or maybe this one. Or maybe this one? <laughs> no, they're also cool and interesting and just pieces of art. You can't even call them the new jackets, just pieces of art. So I don't know, like, what kind of denim jackets did he see that he calls them ridiculous denim jackets? <laughs> it that looks cool while also being wearable. So I thought I'd give it a shot myself and see if I can come up with something. I didn't just want to paint something on denim and call it a day and I also didn't want to paint something that's over the top in your face only to clickbait people into watching the video. What I wanted to do is paint something that I... Actually, it's a wrong th way of thinking. You can create something very interesting and beautiful, unique, something which will get people attention and people would love to watch such video, uh, but at the same time it will be very beautiful and wearable, something which will, you will love to wear. Uh, probably he just doesn't like such clothes which get people attention. Probably that is the reason that he don't want to make anything over the top, as he says. Personally, genuinely would like to have and wear myself. And with that in mind, I took a photo of the jacket, switched over to the iPad and started thinking about some design ideas. I don't know about you, but 
to me a denim jacket just screams 80s. Video games, movies, toys, all that good stuff. Uh, for me, for me it doesn't. Like, yeah, people were wearing a lot of denim in 80s, but people were wearing a lot of denim in 90s, and nowadays, like, everyone wearing denim jackets and jeans. Uh, but if you want to create design, 80s inspired design, it's a great idea because you can find a lot of inspiration in 80s. Like, as he said, video games, some music, art, uh, 80s inspired art, some elements like so many things you can find and you can and you can create so cool design 80s inspired design so i definitely wanted the whole thing to give off an 80s vibe and since my mind immediately goes to video game and movie characters when i think of the 80s that's also the direction i went with after doodling around a bit and going through the web looking for ideas and reference photos i came up with a few designs and although i would love to have a space invader denim jacket I decided to go with good old Obi-Wan for the final design. The overall dark picture just... He said that he's trying to create design, uh, a disinspired design, but that's not the design what he's gonna do. It's just some lonely, lonely artwork, rectangular, small artwork on the back side of his denim jacket. And I don't understand why he decided to make it so small and such a rectangular. He could cover all this area, rectangular area, this area between the seams, and it would look much better uh, than this small, lonely artwork. Like, the composition would be much in better, like... And definitely it's not a design, just, uh, as I said, lonely artwork. Design, it's uh, many elements, like, which work together to create some idea, some compositions, to create some vibe or some aesthetic. Uh, but uh, such rectangular small artwork on the back side of the jacket doesn't give you any vibes, you know. <laughs> and I decided to show you the difference between artwork and design and cost customization. On the left you can see Billy Eilish portrait and on the right portrait was turned into a design on a denim jacket. By adding some elements, a clothes customizer created a denim jacket with not only Billie Eilish painted on it, but with the whole vibe of her music and her aesthetic. And here on the left you can see Weekend's last album cover and on the right clothes customizer turned this cover into a design and created you know perfect jacket for Weekend's fan uh, with the whole vibe of Weekend's music. And even though I think that designs look more interesting on the new jackets than artworks, of course, if you're a beginner, it will be easier for you to create an artwork. But you need to know how to place your artwork right, so it will look beautiful. So one of the options is to place your artwork in the rectangular area between the seams on the back side of your denim jacket. And other option is to cover the back side of your denim jacket completely with artwork. And here I show you perfect examples of big and spectacular artworks on denim jackets, which don't look like something over the top. Like if you're a person who doesn't like to get so much attention with clothes, using right style, right technique and right colors, you can create very variable denim jacket, but with beautiful and such spectacular artwork on it. But if you still want to create small rectangular artwork on your clothes, paint it on the front side of your t-shirt, sweatshirt or hoodie. Because on such clothes on the front side, it will give you no know, such photo rough or card vibes and it won't look so lost and lonely there. And you know guys, first thing which you need to do when you want to paint on your clothes, even if you're a professional artist and you create amazing uh, artworks on canvases, you need to search for inspiration. And yes, probably it's true, there are a lot of bad examples of custom painted denim jackets, a lot of ridiculous examples, but if you will search for inspiration uh, on Pinterest, on Instagram, you will find at least one, two, three jackets which you will love. And even the process of searching for inspiration is very useful because you can compare like bad examples and good examples and you can understand like what you don't like, what you like, what looks good on denim jacket, what doesn't look good on denim jacket. For example, you will say, oh, I don't like composition here, such composition is better, or I don't like such colors, such colors better, or I don't like this style, this style is better. 
So yeah, you will understand the possibilities and what you can do and what you want to do on your denim jacket. And imagine just seeing such a denim jacket, which also has a Star Wars inspired artwork on it, just seeing it and understanding that such a big size artwork, which covers the whole back side of denim jacket, can look very beautiful and wearable and doesn't look like something over the top. Just seeing it, uh, your whole perspective on clothes customization will be changed and you will be able to create more beautiful, more interesting designs or artworks on your clothes. Everything ready for painting. I love the music. The music choice is great. <laughs> Now, I have to confess that I Could skip the part and where I do the research effect. online on how to properly paint on clothes and the quote-unquote right materials to use, because I have a feeling that all these special dedicated products like fabric paints and whatnot are mostly useless anyway. No, they are not useless. <laughs> Yeah, you should use fabric paints for painting on uh, denim or mix acrylic paints with textile medium because like fabric paints are much softer than acrylics. They are much more flexible and uh, like using fabric paints, you will be sure that your artwork will survive washing in a washing machine. And that should be your main focus when you want to paint on clothes. That you want to create artwork which will survive washing, you know, in a washing machine. And you have to wash your clothes sometimes. Uh, and like, I don't understand why did he skip that part uh, of doing a research. Uh, I guess that this art is probably the same age with me. And I remember times when I had to go to the library to get some information and I was searching for books, you know. Now all you need to do is just Google information you need. Uh, and in five seconds you will get a lot of articles, videos on this subject. Uh, so why will you skip that part? I don't understand. Anyway, instead, what I decided to do is do things my own way based on my general experience with painting materials and we'll see if that was a smart idea or not. It wasn't a smart idea because, as I said, you can't approach painting on clothes the same way as painting on other materials. Because you don't have to wash other materials, but you have to wash your clothes sometimes. And you know, to create artwork on a denim jacket with the thought that I will never ever wash this denim jacket, it's not the right thing to do because it's not a sustainable way of thinking, you know, that you will never ever be able to wash your denim jacket because your artwork will be just ruined in the washing machine. And yeah, you spend a lot of time on creating this artwork and it will be very sad if this artwork will be ruined after the first washing. And also, what is he trying to apply? I don't understand. What is that? I guess he's trying to prepare, you know, the canvas for painting. Like the same way as he's preparing canvases for painting with acrylics. Not in the end. The way I prepared the jacket is not dissimilar to how I would prepare a canvas. Yeah. I sealed the surface with an acrylic dispersion acrylic and dispersion. then I what applied a coat of white paint so white paint. that the colors don't lose their vibrancy well. And I don't recommend to experiment, you know, with art supplies uh, because painting on clothes is such a, as I call it, sensitive art. Even smallest mistake can cause a problem. Like for example, uh, when you paint on clothes, you shouldn't mix brands. For example, you shouldn't uh, use one color of one brand and other color of other brand uh, because it can cause a problem. Paints will not connect with each other and then paint will start to peel off after washing. Uh, or you shouldn't put too many layers of paint, uh, for example, because if you put that so many layers of paint, last layers of your artwork will not connect with fabric. And like in painting on clothes, it's very important for all the layers, all the paints to connect with fibers, with fabric. So then your artwork will become washable, you know. Using too much paint can cause a problem and not using enough water can cause a problem. Like such things which won't cause any problem when you paint on canvas with acrylics. All these things can, can, can cause problems when you paint on fabric. So you shouldn't experiment, you know. Uh, you shouldn't invent a bicycle. There are some basic rules 
which you need to follow. There are art supplies which you need to use uh, in order to prevent, uh, you know, your artwork from cracking, from paint to start peeling off. Uh, yeah, let me make this video a bit more useful <laughs> and let me show you now all these basic rules you need to follow when you want to paint on denim. Let me show you. <laughs> And first you need to take a closer look at your denim jacket and understand what color is it, dark or light color. If your denim jacket is dark color, dark blue, gray or black, you need to create white base layer on it first using white color fabric paint or acrylic paint mixed with textile medium. And now I want you to watch closely how I will create a base layer because so many beginners make a mistake when they use the whole can of paint to create a base layer and it's so big mistake because the main rule here to use as less paint as possible. As you can see I put a bit paint and I blend it out. I put a bit paint and I blend it out. Because the less paint you use the softer your artwork will be and you will avoid all the troubles like stiffness of your artwork or cracks on your artwork. Dry base layer with hair dryer or let it dry by itself. And here I want to show you the color of my fabric paint and the color of base layer. As you can see, I didn't try to create such crisp white base layer and I could, I could put two, three more layers of paint. But I want just to create light layer for my artwork, but thin layer. And as you can see, colors which I apply on such thin, not so white base layer are pretty bright and vivid. But of course, paints you use should have a good coverage. For example, fabric paints I use are for painting on dark clothes, so they have a very good coverage. But what if you have a light color denim jacket? It depends on an artwork you want to create. If you want to create very, very complicated artwork with a lot of details and a lot of colors, of course, it will be easier for you to create white base layer and then paint over it. Uh, or if you want to create very, very bright, you know, such bright yellow, bright pink uh, artwork, also it's better to create base layer. But if you want to create artwork which is darker than your denim jacket, for example, your artwork is mostly black and purple, or maybe you will use color which is the same level of brightness with your denim jacket. For example, I don't know, red color or green color. If your paints have good coverage, you don't need to create white base layer. You can paint directly on your denim jacket. Like if you can skip this step of creating base layers, keep it because like don't waste your time. And also, as I said, the less paint you use, the softer your artwork will be. So if you don't have to apply additional layer, don't apply it. Uh, okay, let's watch video until then. <laughs> Two things. Firstly, everything you see me paint from here on out is painted with acrylic paint for a change. So, this might be especially interesting for all the people who always um, wonder whether or not you can paint with acrylic paint similar to oil paint. But as secondly, I said, uh, as I just showed you, um, like he didn't need a base layer because his artwork is darker than the color of his denim jacket. And uh, yeah, he tried, I understand, he tried to create a canvas uh, for painting so that it would be easier to paint. But yeah, painting on clothes is difficult. It's, it's a bit more complicated, you know, than painting on canvas. It's uh, not so easy to uh, apply paint, to make strokes, you know, to create clear lines. But again, as I said, your main focus should be to create a washable artwork. And your first artwork will be a bit of a challenge, you know, for you to get used to a fabric, how to apply paint. But then you will like accept it and you will understand that, yeah, the result worth the effort. Because when you will get this experience of wearing your art, you know, going outside, showing it to people, when you will get this experience, you will understand that the result worth the effort. Uh, because it's such a great feeling, you know, to be able to wear your art. Uh, so yeah, uh, all these things which he applies are not necessary. All you need to do 
uh, when you want to create dark artwork on your light denim jacket, just take your fabric paints or acrylic paints with, mixed with textile medium and just paint directly on your denim jacket. <laughs> Crap, this was a bloody mistake. At this point, I honestly didn't think that I could pull this off. As it turns out, painting on denim is pretty much exactly like painting on sandpaper. It's almost as if it doesn't want to be painted. Yeah, on. like denim is not actually for painting. It wasn't created for painting on it. But if you want to get a variable art, yeah, you should accept the challenge. <laughs> and on top of that, I picked the tiniest, most complicated reference you can imagine, which would be hard to paint even under normal circumstances. Yeah, small. The image is imagine so small. Imagine painting of course a it's thumbnail hard. sized face on sandpaper. You could make it bigger, you, know? you might get an idea on how frustrating this was. But backing down was not an option and, luckily, the more paint I applied, the easier painting became. But it's safe to say that denim is less... Yeah, the more paint you apply, the easier uh, for you to paint is right, because you are getting far and far from fabric. <laughs> uh, you start to paint on a layer of other paint rather than on a layer of fabric. But again, as I said, you should be careful because if you apply too many layers of paint, uh, last layers will not connect with the fibers and then these last layers will just wash off after first washing. So yeah, you should be careful. It's then ideal as a painting supplies. As I say, the, the less paint you use, the better. The process itself was pretty straightforward. Acrylic paint is quite forgiving. The order you paint in isn't really that important because it dries on the spot and you can put paint on top of paint and always make changes and rework spots. But the basic process was this. Start with all the blacks, paint yeah, in all in the any basic art, colors, yeah, the same rules, and then refine. Like, painting process is the same. Like how you apply colors, in which order. <laughs> I love the music. <laughs> and then it was time for the moment of truth. Okay, I'm ready. Ah, it's peeling of the tape. Yeah, I love. It's also the most satisfying part for me, <laughs> the peel of the tape. I have to admit, peeling off the tape was a bit nerve-wracking because I had no clue. Of course, clue like if it uh, would... like artwork is beautiful, like. The artwork itself, of course, is well done, like, uh, and the level of artwork is pretty high, but design... The painting might not be on the same level as my usual stuff, but the overall end result looks so much better than I thought it would after the first couple of brush strokes. <laughs> you know, guys, like, seeing the result, I understand, like, that I'm right, <laughs> no, that thoughts I have in my head are the right thoughts. That uh, to create a cool denim jacket, very unique and interesting, you don't have to be, you know, such a great artist to have some extraordinary artistic skills, but you have to be a good designer. Because like designing in clothes customization is even more important than artistic skills. And I have a video on my YouTube channel, uh, five easy uh, clothes customization styles any beginner can make. And just watch that video. I will put a uh, card there. Just watch it and see, I show there a lot of examples of uh, denim jackets, leather jackets with easy designs, designs which uh, don't require like extraordinary artistic skills, but just look at those denim jackets, leather jackets, and then look at the result of this artist. And you can understand like what I'm trying to say, because like you can create much more interesting, much more beautiful, much more unique denim jacket when you understand what to paint, how to paint, how to design, how to place. Like using easy techniques and easy styles, you can create so cool denim jacket, you know. I hope guys you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful. I tried to make it a bit more useful. And if you have any questions, of course, I'm always ready to help you. Write me in the comments below or write me on my Instagram. I'm there, Dia Creative too. And I hope to see you next time. And of course, subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. See you next time. Bye-bye.